Hey everyone, this is Project SBC, and today I'm going to show you how to pair your Joy-Cons to the Latte Panda Alpha. And really, this works with any Windows 10 computer. Now, in one of my previous videos, I showed you a somewhat cumbersome way to connect Joy-Cons, and it was a little bit finicky. But today I'm here to show you a different software that actually implements the X-Input emulation very nicely. So here we go. This is Reed WASD. It's an input mapper software that supports a lot of different controllers, including the Joy-Con. And it's got a lot of customization options and everything like that. And it does a great job of emulating an X input controller. Unfortunately, it is a paid software. They do have a free 14 day trial, which is what I'm going to suggest you download now. They do have um, a basic license for $5.99, which is the one that I did get. And I'm going to leave a coupon for 20% off a purchase in the description below. So if you are interested in grabbing this, go down. First 100 people will get 20% off their order. So let's go ahead and download this. And we're going to head over to the Bluetooth settings to set up our Joy-Cons. Go ahead and turn Bluetooth on and make sure you are discoverable. So I got my Joy-Con here and it was previously paired to my Nintendo Switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in pairing mode by holding down this little button right here. And we're going to wait for the lights to start flashing. Once that happens, we're going to go back to our Bluetooth settings and hit this Joy-Con. Back in the Bluetooth settings, we're going to hit Add Device, Bluetooth. And we're going to see our Joy-Con right there at the top. We're going to click that. We're going to let it set itself up. Click Done. And we're going to repeat for the right side. Now you can see both Joy-Cons are connected via Bluetooth. So now we're going to go ahead and open up Read WASD. And when you come in, you should see some inputs off on the left hand side. You should see like a keyboard or a touchscreen thing. And then we're going to see the two Bluetooth icons for our Joy-Cons. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on one. It looks like one's already highlighted. The Switch Joy-Con left. And there's a little plus sign right next to the name. I'm going to click that. Now, under the second drop-down, No Device Selected, I'm going to hit that, and I'm going to add the Joy-Con right, and then I'm going to say Close. So now we've got one fully functional Joy-Con left and right. Now that that's set up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make it a X input controller. So I've clicked that little button in the top right corner, and I'm going to click Switch to Xbox 360. And lastly, we're going to hit Apply. It should say remap is on in the bottom left hand corner and we should be all set to test it out. And just to give you a quick demo, I'm on an HTML gamepad testing website. It's picking it up as an X input controller and it's responding to my button presses here. And there you have it. Joy-Cons to X input made simple on Windows. So this was the third part to a three-part series. The first part showed off this build, including some gaming. Second part was how to build it. And I'll leave links to those videos in the description below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe, and thanks for watching.